You think the free market can provide service better than a state-owned company? Well, think again. Apparently, private businesses don't want to provide phone service to certain people. The telephone companies in Kentucky have been arguing to the state that they want to stop offering landline phone service to people in mountainous and rural communities. Apparently, the free market doesn't think that the poor and elderly residents in those communities are worth phone service because it isn't profitable enough. Lobbyists have been hounding the government with the express purpose of eliminating legislation that makes offering phone service in mandatory and remote areas. Providing a service in mountainous and rural areas is much more expensive, and there are fewer possibilities for profit due to less customers being available. Bill 135, or the AT&T bill, is being pushed by lobbyists to eliminate the responsibility these companies have to provide service to those areas. Essentially, this bill is designed to eliminate state regulation over phone service that affects three companies, AT&T, Windstream, and Cincinnati Bell. The bill would prohibit the state from investigating complaints made against the companies without their permission, basically giving the free market the ability to cheat customers with impunity, especially the elderly and poor, who are unable to afford legal services in civil court to seek lawful remedy. Such a move is immensely dangerous for the working class, and even more so for the elderly. Without a telephone service, there's no possibility of dialing 911 in an emergency. The elderly would be left without the basic protection that every person is entitled to under the UN Declaration of Human Rights. This bill will specifically disadvantage the working and poor class to a much greater degree by denying them an essential communication service. Cell phone service isn't even an option in the mountainous areas because mountains interfere with cell reception. This is the true face of the free market, the elimination and marginalization of entire communities of people because they don't fit into some capitalist plan for profit making, a clear indication that human life and the dignity and security is always of secondary nature to the pocket filling of the bourgeoisie.